Resistance goal is not to wound or disable. Resistance goal is to kill. That's one of the quotes that stuck with me from the book The War of Art. The author is a really interesting guy because he started as a truck driver and now he's a very empowering writer. So what is resistance? Resistance is overconsumption of food or information. Resistance is creating drama. You can live in a household where everyone is constantly creating drama and at the end of the day no one got anything done because of resistance. Resistance can even take the form of healing because resistance loves to take up all your mental energy to the point where there's no more energy left to do the stuff that you have to do. Resistance can be criticism. It's the jealousy that you might feel when you see that other people are living up to their authentic self. Resistance can come in the form of grand fantasies about how life can be because the pro, the warrior who overcame resistance knows that happiness and joy is just a byproduct of doing his work. So what is not resistance? Resistance isn't fear. Fear is a good thing because it's going to tell you what direction you have to go into. And the more fear you feel, the more certain you can be that this is the right direction. And you can clearly see the influence that Stephen Pressfield got from the warrior archetype. Because the archetype of the warrior is moving forward and he knows that he is living for something bigger than himself. And this is what people mean when they say that an artist has a thick skin. It just means that the artist or this warrior has his professional ego at another place than his personal ego. What they do professionally is something different from what they do personally. And doing this makes the warrior artist less prone to rejection. For me, a practical takeaway from this book was to get on a book diet. Because we tend to overindulge and analyze and get analysis paralysis by just diving into all the things that we have to learn before taking action. And he says, when you start a project, limit yourself to reading only one or two books about it and then you have to take action because otherwise you're gonna keep on reading and reading and reading and that's not how you get stuff done. The final message of the book is to create because if you don't create you're not only harming yourself but also the world and the muses and the angels who gave you this creativity and this inspiration to create whatever you're supposed to make. And if you want to learn more about the muses that are giving inspiration, you can click on the video over here. Thanks for watching.